Thank you for watching. Our work here is done. It's time to say goodbye. Yeah! Episode 67, our very last one. So get ready for the show that tells you everything you need to know on this month in Wiffle Ball. After dominating the regular season and winning their franchise's second straight pennant, the Giants, along with the Padres, earned a first round bye in the postseason. In round one, the Dodgers would take on the Expos, and it would be a series for the ages, with an unforgettable performance from the Expos' Tyler Weggerson. The Dodgers would strike first thanks to brilliant pitching from Tim Ternary and a fifth inning, three-run home run by Bo Machinsky. In game two, the Expos would bounce back with a one-hitter from Tyler Weggerson and home runs from Kenny Rogers, Phil Frazello, and Weggerson for a five-zip win. That's a three-run shot! In game three with the series on the line, T-Weg would start his third game of the day, pull the Dodgers scoreless, and help his cause with a solo shot in the third to advance to the second round. That's gonna be out of here! Solo shot by Weggerson! On field two, the Royals, who hadn't been in the postseason in nearly a decade, took on a short staff Cardinal squad. With Dave Weggerson and Chris Morse out of the lineup, the Royals were able to take advantage of the situation and sweep the cards with key hits from Freddy Gonzalez, Nick Martinez, and a big time pitching performance from Vin Lee. In round two, the Royals would face the Giants and would get off to a shaky start when Vin Lee gave up this two run home run to Dave Fisher in the second inning. The Royals would threaten with this Freddy Gonzalez leadoff home run in the top of the fourth, Followed by this double by Vin Lee. But Brian McElrath would slam the door with three straight Ks as the Giants went on to win game one. In game two, Ryan McElrath would take the carpet again, and aside from a pair of Nick Martinez hits and a couple of walks, he was untouchable. For the Royals, Oliver Avalone got off to a shaky start, worked out of trouble, and it looked like he would go toe to toe with Ryan McElrath until this two out pitch to Ryan Bush in the third. Avalon would settle down, but the Royals would fall to the Giants in two games. On field one to see who would face the Giants, the Expos would take on the Padres. t Wegg would match zeros with Kyle Von Slussingen for five innings until the sixth when Kayvon would load the bases and gave up a pair of runs before Weggerson put it away with this grand slam for the 6-1 win over the Padres. In game two, Jordan Robles would hold the Expos scoreless, and Sean Ryan would hit this solo shot in the second, followed by this two-run jack from Kayvon in the third. With the series even at a game apiece, Robles would take the carpet again, but this time against Kenny Rogers. And Robles would provide the offense with a pair of two-run home runs, one off Rogers, the other off Weggers. In the finals, the Giants sent Ryan Bush to the carpet and he was phenomenal, striking out 12 Padres in five innings of work. At the plate, it was a team effort as Kayvon walked Tim McElrath, Dave Fisher doubled, oh, Fisher, big double. and Ryan Bush helped his cause with this run-scoring single in the second inning for the eventual 1-0 win. In game two, the defending champs were on a mission as Tim McElrath and Dave Fisher singled off Jordan Robles in the first, and Ryan McElrath drove them in with this two-run triple. Sean Ryan responded with a run scoring triple of his own in the second. To the bat, it's got backspin. Oh! But it wouldn't be enough as Bush scattered a hit and two walks over the next three innings for the Giants as they went on to win their second straight Palisades WBL championship. To win the Palisades Cy Young, you have to be a beast. Fucking dick. With an unlimited arsenal and velocity at or above anyone who has ever played the game, Dan Whitener was a nightmare for batters and ran away with the vote for the 2018 Cy Young. In 10 games, Whitener went 8-2 over 53 innings and allowed just two runs. Of the 16 hits he gave up over the course of the season, 13 were singles. Whitener struck out 129, only walked 26, and pitched to a very stingy 0.19 ERA.
Tyler Wegerson put together one of the best seasons in Palisades WBL history. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Let's go, and finished in the top three in average. Come on! Yeah. Get out. Hits. Yeah. RBI. Come on. Home runs. Yeah. Wins. Yeah. And strikeouts. T Wegg was also as clutch as any player to ever grace the league. Time and again, he asserted his will and either shut down the opposition from the carpet or came up with the go-ahead RBI for the Expos. Tyler Wegerson is your 2018 Palisades WBL Most Valuable Player. In what was the most hotly contested awards vote in 2018, Connor Young got past some pretty hefty competition. Young started 16 games and pitched to just an 8-9 and nine record, but recorded a league-leading 170 Ks and a more than respectable 1.23 ERA. At the plate, he picked up 25 hits and 100 at-bats for a 250 average and led the Brewers with five home runs and 13 RBI. Connor Young is your 2018 Palisades WBL Rookie of the Year. Rob Piervenanzi did it again in 2018. His 339 average bested T-Weg's 325 average to take home his fourth straight batting title. That's all. Thanks for watching us these last 10 years. Get out! Get out!